Welcome back to Trans Literature. I'm Dr. Bykowski, and today we're talking about Golden Boy. Golden Boy falls into the category of intersex literature, which overlaps and intersects with many issues that trans literature concerns. In fact, many intersex people consider themselves to be transgender as well. There, there are literally dozens of intersex conditions express a, a diversity and a spectrum of uh, different kinds of chromosomes. Um, it could relate to a diversity and a difference in one's hormones, as well as the way in which different parts of the body develop. There is um, a relationship between intersex and transgender community, and especially between intersex and transgender literature, where one benefits um, from reading both. So Golden Boy tells the story of Daniel, who's an intersex boy, who is born into a family of, of politicians who are in the public light. And for most of his um, upbringing has presented himself as this golden child, as this um, star and uh, perfect uh, son to this politician in the UK. Uh, this member of parliament, a part of his identity that his family does not want to be public, the fact that he is intersex. And this secrecy creates complications for Max, particularly in, um, early on in the book when Max is sexually assaulted. And there's the, due to the complications that have to do with that, Max begins to um, develop um, a pregnancy as, as a result, which uh, causes uh, dysphoria, which causes um, distress for Max in relation to his own body, um, the emotional weight of having to, of carrying the child of his rapist. This, put, this puts Max, who's already in the difficult position of dealing with the consequences of the sexual assault, into feeling isolated and like he can't reach out and can't be honest because he's afraid of complicating, shattering, or challenging notions that other people have with this assumption that he is a normate cisgender um, male. So in the end, Max's struggle is not just the coming of age, it's not just coming out, it's facing as an individual and then as a family, the, the consequences for a family in the public eye when the, the assumptions of being the golden family, being the golden child, um, are that veil is, is pulled back and, and the reality and the complexity and the suffering and the pain and the um, abuses that can uh, emerge amidst this veneer of, of perfection uh, begin to come down and, and the truth begins to be told. While I highly recommend this book, I also acknowledge that this can be um, triggering material for many people, especially anyone who's um, been affected by sexual assault and abuse. The author does uh, try their best to add nuance and compassion and to honor Max's experience, but it's worth noting that the reading of the material may be quite painful for many readers. Now it comes time to uh, put uh, this book on our uh, scale of one to five, and with, within uh, that, I, I would give it a 4.0 out of five. I look forward to hearing what your interests are and what books you, you would want uh, to be added to, to the list of reviews. Uh, so drop a comment down below with some of your ideas. Meanwhile, keep on reading.